Hi guys, my name is uh, Federico Porceddu. I am a senior developer in uh, Havana, Italy. Uh, actually, I'm based in Cagliari, in uh, Sardinia, at the Havana Technology Center. Uh, today, I'll show you an SP, uh, SPFX extension uh, allows a user to define their own page model and reuse them easily uh, without export page template uh, backed directly into the modern team site. So. Here you can find my reference. Um, let's see together general needs. Uh, every time you need to create a page model uh, for a periodical publication, uh, for instance, uh, the page of the employee of the month, uh, weekly post from general manager, etc. Um, so if you need to, um, so people often need to create periodical editorial pages with the same composition, structure, structure, uh, etc. This kind of needs is uh, frequent and usual in internet portal, and most likely for the reason SharePoint team released last month this feature as out of the box in uh, SharePoint Online. So many thanks to SharePoint team for uh, this really important improvement. Uh, what I show today is how to build uh, our own feature of page model, adding our personal user experience um, I did not intentionally consider to build a complex architecture, so I don't use Azure Function or Flow uh, because I want to study and understand the power of uh, PMPGS uh, and uh, use a, cl um, a client side solution. So the solution uh, consists in a, in a, a Boolean side column uh, applied to the page library. Um, so what I think is uh, that we can mark a pages model and realize an uh, SPFX uh, extension, which help uh, to create a new page from a page model list. So the prerequisite is uh, add a Boolean set column uh, to the page library and name it uh, is, uh, is model, for instance. Um, then with an uh, SPFX uh, list view common set extension, uh, using PPJS and Office UI Fabric, uh, we show a dialog with a list of page models. So we can start my demo. So this is my modern T site, and we can go to the page library, and we can see uh, the command, uh, uh, the specific extension. And uh, as you can see, there is a column, is modern. Boolean. So there are some pages are uh, marked as a model, and some pages no. So what you can do is, uh, for instance, mark this page like employee of the month as a, a model, and it's easy because I just need to modify this column. Okay, so. What I did is market features model. So I can start to open my presentation and show um, a model with choose, uh, choice button. And there are two choices. Uh, the first um, provides you to create a not coded page um, defining user uh, PMPGS client side page. And we create a page with a uh, a people web part on the on the right and class text on the left, and it is totally coded. And the other, uh, so you can see all pages marked as model. So I can choose one of these, and I can create a page. So. And it's really quickly. Perfect. So the page is created in uh, edit mode. So I can go to the new page. Okay. Oops. Perfect. So I can start to edit this page and modify. And these are really good. Uh, um, point of start, so I uh, modify as better than create from uh, scratch. And uh, look the code, and my solution is uh, published in uh, GitHub, obviously. And we can start with, uh, this is a standard uh, SP SPFX um, um, OK. 
okay and there is only one command and uh, what we can see is that there is the pimp stop obviously in the on init uh, method and in on execute there is a switch with uh, my page model dialog this is my definition and page model dialog I just <laughs> sorry here's some rumors okay um, okay and my page model dialog extends a base dialog that is a, a SharePoint framework dialog so in my content there are obviously the constructor and the first call to PMPJS so I can uh, retrieve all pages with uh, is model equal uh, true and get all pages and put inside my drop down so uh, this is the constructor in the render there is the dialog obviously and uh, with this trick I can uh, manage the state and uh, I can choose um, what um, which part to render uh, so there are the chess group etc the most interesting thing uh, in my opinion is the um, the part with um, the security action so I, I create a page model helper with all my function and uh, I create custom page method and this method and there are uh, all the calls with the um, PMPJS so if we choose the case A, case A, sorry, uh, the case A, uh, I start to build uh, with PMPGS a um, simple page. So uh, retry the page name I chose in the front end and uh, retrieve all web ports. And uh, what it did is build my, my client side web port and uh, with a lot of, um, of with all properties. So as we know, um, web ports, um, client side web ports, uh, can, we can set properties as a, so just with text, but I decided to uh, build my own uh, page. Um, my own client side web property for the people web part for instance so I can use the, all the power of TypeScript and uh, after all I can just uh, add the control in, uh, in the column and the section and uh, save the page before I disable the common because I, I decide to disable the common for this page for instance but it's uh, just a sample in the case B, the um, page model, uh, based from an existing pages, uh, as you can see, there are, there are less uh, lines of code because the from version 1.3.0, if, uh, if I remember well, um, PMPGS offered this extension method that is copy page and uh, um, so if you if you need if you like to, to to copy a page you you just call this uh, extension method and it's uh, really easy and uh, powerful and I think uh, this is all from uh, my side so thank you very much. Great Thanks. demo! Uh, really interesting to see uh, how you use PMPJS and, and move it in there. So that's uh, awesome to see and a really great application uh, you've written there. So very cool demo. Uh, the code and everything was shared there in the chat. Uh, a link to that so everybody could check that out and learn from that. So thank you, uh, Frederico, for that demo.